Madness are also part of the English ska revival. Less concerned than the specials with socially relevant lyrics, they're more interested in spreading their nutty sound. They made their first appearance in Toronto a couple of weeks ago at a promotional session at the Pickering Mall, where we found out that Madness' version of the A-Train was the latest craze. Madness are made up of six musicians and a mascot compare on stage toe tap, her name of Chaz Smash. They owe their start to the specials. Their first single, The Prince, was released on the specials independent record label, Two Tone. We asked lead singer Suggs how they met. Well, I played in a pub that we go in all the time in, uh, in London. We hadn't really heard of them, just went down to see them, and they were, they were really similar to us. Toronto audiences have a reputation for being reserved, and the Madness show at the Nickelodeon could have been a very cold affair, especially when you consider almost half the audience was made up of normally cool media types. But Madness tore the place apart, and from the moment they hit the stage, nobody could stay in their seat. And we're talking to uh, Daniel Woodgate, the drummer of Madness. Uh, Daniel, what did you think of Two on Toe this evening? Well, actually, I think, no, seriously, tonight's audience was one of the best audiences we've ever had in, in this continent, as in America and Canada. I think this is one of the most stupidest gigs I've ever done in my life. Chrissy Boy, apart from Chrissy Boy, our guitar has been the most handsome person in the whole hey, world. Hey, 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 hey. Devilishly handsome. Oh, don't worry on Organ being the second most handsome man in the world. No way, you're not in my league, boy. No, this is serious, this is serious stuff, folks. I really enjoyed it here, No, it was yes. very good, very good. Better as you were in here. It's a lot of rubbish that they're a laid-back audience, because we woke them up, and they woke themselves up. I understand that you have a lot of fans that follow you all around the country. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're still paying I see you've all airport. read the article, yes, yes. you all read the latest article. I've read the anime. I mean, you uh, know Harry of Wandsworth, who was mentioned, right? We think that he's going to turn up any minute anyway, here in America. America. He, he just make... turns up and he goes to... Ho we go to the hotel and he, he sleeps in the toilet. He takes a bed in the toilet and things like that, you know, in the restroom and he has a rest. One no, day we were on tour, there. on the two-tone tour with Specials and Selector, and the security, like we had a security boat with us and he couldn't get in the toilet. In the end, Harry opened the door, came out, there was a mattress in there, blankets what and a the shed. champagne, you know. <laughs> Breakfast in bed. Madness, uh, interview with Woody Woodgate, take two. I know you guys are all our really good friends, or that's what you told me the other night. That's how you all got together. <laughs> what do you do back home for fun? Do you all hang out together? You just always work? No, not at all. No, we I'm not, never, I'm never not in bed all day long with my young lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I heard you're all... Uh, you're one of all engaged, married. or you, you've all got Ooh, ladies. Man, Sorry, guys. This is man. a married man. The handsomest one is married. <laughs> <laughs> how are the ladies reacting to the success of yours? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I think mine's all right. Yeah. Just, I mean, she's in a band herself. Which band is that? Modettes. All female band in Britain. Do you become actively involved in her career? Do you give her any. Uh, you, being yeah, uh, a drummer, really. do you help her out at all? Oh, me. I mean, yeah. Well, no, I help a drummer out more than anything. I mean, we, have, I mean, you know, we sort of, we get them to play with us and lend them amps and things and, you know. But it's bad for me, every time I get off the road with Madness, I go on the road with the Modettes because I want to see my young lady. <laughs> yeah, so he's constantly on the road, so. What kind of background did you all come from? Did you all go to the same school or did you spend a lot of time at school or you, how did you get um, into the music well, thing? Some of us went to the same schools, but uh, I'll say sort of working class, we were coming from a sort of working class background, you know. Really? 
Hey, doesn't the rest of us do? Sorry. Well, how do the folks react to all this? I think how are your really... friends, relatives? I think I think all the families are really pretty proud. I mean, I mean, I think they don't realise um what the, you know. I think they think a group's a joke until you get on telly, and then when you go on telly, they know it's quite <laughs> serious. <laughs>